Hello and welcome to Me in Ukraine's podcast. With these podcasts, we'll bring you news and updates from Ukraine. My name is Klaas Pot and these are the headlines of today. Today is Ukraine's National Flag Day. President Volodymyr Zelensky assured the people of Ukraine that the flag of Ukraine will return to each city and village that are now temporarily occupied by the Moscovians. In different areas in Ukraine, people have reported a strange milky color fog. The fog appeared daytime practically simultaneously in different places like Kyiv, Zaporizhia, Lviv and other places. People also said there was an ammonia-like smell. Could it be a Moscovian chemical weapon? Could it be an artificial fog to hide approaching armies? Today the test and tomorrow the execution? Nothing can be said for sure, but it is suspicious that a mysterious fog appears like this on the day before Independence Day. In Belgorod region in Moscovia, ammunition is on fire and the population is being evacuated. Local authorities claim that the fire was caused by a lens effect under the bright sun. More explosions reported in occupied Crimea's Sevastopol. I suppose the sun shines there too. Erdogan says return of Crimea to Ukraine is a requirement of international law. 750 rockets have been launched from occupied Crimea during the last six months. And Moscovians shell warehouses with ash from the nuclear power plant to raise clouds of radioactive dust. What we found on Twitter. Don't forget the price of the Ukrainian flag. This flag is covered in blood from the bulletproof vest of Sirhi Karpo who died for Ukraine. Who originally came from Liman in the province of Donetsk. Friday the 13th, 2015, the Baltsevo district. P.S. When you post this photo, write to whom it belongs. Sirhi deserves it. One HIMARS system, four million dollars. 50 systems, $200 million plus ammunition. The price of achieving fire parity and destroying Moscovian army logistics is less than Moscovian oligarchs yacht. It is not an enormous amount of money, but something that would completely change the course of this war. Embassies of Western countries invoke citizens to leave Ukraine due to risk of mass attacks by Moscovia on civilian objects and city centers. Six months. Monster continues to terrorize due to the lack of global leadership, political will and weapons. Maybe it is time to change the approach. That was it for today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to visit www.lifeguardians.eu and to make a donation. Until next time, Slava Ukraini.